Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this Allegro ACS758 current sensor that can measure up to 200 amperes with this LCD1602 and I2C uh, module with four wire and the current element the, that disconnects the load with this relay. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. I have separate video for this current sensor that explains everything, including the data sheet and how the code works. And also I have another video that explains this LCD with I2C or I2C uh, module. So I'm not going to explain how this works. I'm not going to explain how this works because I've explained this. So I would encourage you to uh, follow the link that's in the description. Use this the code that is provided. Test this and make sure it displays on the serial monitor or the current and it measures and works perfectly. After that, try this screen and make sure that you can read the text. After that, then we will we are going to combine these two codes here and I'm going to explain just the portion that is combined because it will be too long video explaining everything. So let me explain the wiring. The wiring is the same as the original sketch. We have ground and VCC. So we have ground and VCC connected to 5 volts and the ground here. So ground. And then we have uh, S SDA and SCL which are connected to SDA and SCL in here. Or we will connect it to A4 and A5 if your Arduino doesn't have those pins. Here is quickly how you can make the connection. So when you connect a load to a battery, so the current passes through the battery through the load. So two wires will be connected. When you when you want to measure the current, the current goes through the load and then disconnect this wire either from here or here, for example, and the current goes through a meter and continues so you can read the current. If you want to put a sensor, the same thing, remove the ammeter and put the sensor. That is how you get the current goes through the sensor and you will read it through these pens. Now if you want to put the relay protection, the current goes here, but it goes through this contact of the relay. The relay has three wires. One is not connected, the two are connected. Once the current uh, remage, uh, rem limit reached, this relay will energize and pull this contact here and it will be disconnected. So the current cannot go through here. Here is the schematic and wiring of this uh, portion that is controlling the relay. Uh, we have 12 volts from independent power supply. The negative is connected to the ground here. The positive goes to the uh, one portion of the relay, uh, which on the other side of the relay is connected to this 2N3904 transistor. An emitter of the transistor is connected to the ground. Then we have base with one kilo ohm resistor is connected to Arduino pin 2. Between the two wires of this relay, we have one N4001 uh, diode for protection of this transistor because when the relay turns off, the energy that is released from the coil will be absorbed here. The relay has uh, three uh, contacts, one, two, three, and this can go this way when it's connected. When it's not connected, uh, this is the two, the two wires are connected like that. So AC or DC load is connected, one side is connected to the one wire of relay and from the relay it goes uh, to the current sensor and from current sensor it goes to the load and from load it continues uh, back to the main power source that, y that uh, you are using for this load. Here is the relay that I'm using for this purpose. The rating of this one is 80 ampere and at 12 volts, so I will go below 12 volts. To, for this to handle and this is a 12 volt relay for itself so these two wires are this coil wire and then these three are the switch one is normally connected the other is normally open this is normally these two pins are normally connected so I'm gonna connect the load here there is a voltage test of the relay now I have 12 volts here Uh, 
as you can see I'm going to connect a, a diode here the anode will be here the cathode will be here so when the relays released the uh, induction that is accumulated within the coil uh, will be discharged through that uh, diode and it will prevent it so it cannot damage the transistor and here I have connected the relay here this is one in 4001 so the cathode is here and anode is here if you put the polarity in reverse you, you will just make it will make it a short circuit this is 3904 NPN transistor this is a negative junction transistor and the pins are from the left uh, this is the emitter the middle one is the collect uh, base and the last one is the collector emitter goes to the ground base goes through a resistor to pin 2 and collector goes to relay from Arduino ground I've connected one ground here because this is connected to the emitter of this transistor which is the a pin on the left side so this pin is connected to the ground with this yellow wire that is connected to the 12 volt ground and also the ground is shared with Arduino then from pin 2 this wire is connected here and I have one kilo ohm resistor that is connected to the middle pin that is the base of the transistor and the collector of the transistor is connected to the uh, negative wire or to, uh, of this relay and then the other side is connected to the 12 volts so this relay is connected between the current sensor and the power supply now let me explain the wiring this is um, the same as the original uh, sketch that I wrote pin 2 is defined for relay VCC that's the voltage that we use 5 volts and then the model as I've explained here this is the model that I'm using that's 100B so I've entered 2 so maximum current you set your maximum current here and that's the maximum current weight so 6 second or 6000 millisecond once it reaches this value it will wait this many second milliseconds so you can change it whatever value you want and this is the minimum if you want to ignore some value below this make it that value let's say if you're not interested uh, for the values less than 1 or 10 ampere and then the rest is the same I've not changed anything inside the setup is the same as before inside the loop we have here I've made this change so the current is equal or bigger than minimum current this is the actual current that is measured and minimum current is the amount that you set at the top and then this will so this will go from here up to here if the current is below the limit we just print no current on the screen and then on the serial monitor which is this one and also we print on the uh, we also print it on the device that it says no current but if the amount of current is above the minimum limit then we check if the current is smaller than the maximum current then we do all of this up to up to here so this is just the same as before on the screen and this is just printing uh, the amount on the LCD otherwise we print this on the serial monitor and the important part here is that we set the relay to low when the current reaches when the current is below the maximum it's low so the relay allows connection that low mean turn off the relay so the connection is allowed but other if the current is larger than the maximum amount then we say relay pin high digital right so this is connected to pin 2 which is defined here this one the relay pin so it will turn the relay on and it will disconnect it will also print on the serial monitor the, this information and also print IMAX and disconnect it on the LCD here we, we set the maximum current weight this is the amount of time that you want if when the limit is reached how many minutes or seconds or milliseconds you want to wait before connection is allowed 
and then the loop continues like that when there is when there is no current still we are connecting the relay so the relay is connected here in the else clause so this is one low and then we have another low when the current is within the limit now here is a demonstration the electronic load is connected so this is now connected to the load and currently it draws 11 ampere and then as you can see here we are reading 11.22 that is uh, very close to 100 milliampere with comparing to 100 ampere is very minimal in terms of er error tolerance so let me just increase the current from here and you will see the original current and then the reading and this is the limit the limit is set to 15 ampere uh, within the software so here that's the limit that i have set So now it's 12, 13, you're reading it also here. So as you can see that's 14. So let me, so when it reaches 15, now it's disconnected. So it waits for the time and goes and connects back so if I go back to 11 it goes back to 11 and the maximum is 15 so this way it just uh, the relay is engaged and the current is now disconnected now the load the relay is engaged and the load is now disconnected and as you can see here it shows totally even the voltage shows a zero now I'm setting the current to 32 ampere you will see now the limit is 32 and we are at 10 amp so let me just increase slowly now it's 20 as you can see I'm increasing it so 21 now it's 23 amp 24 25 26 so as I increase it increases here and also pay attention to this line uh, to this line 27 we are at 28 ampere 29 still it's not 30 because 29.8 it has 200 milliampere less So 31, 3175, and then when it reaches 20, 32, it disconnects. And then goes back, comes back. Thank you for watching. This was an uh, introduction, demonstration, and code of this Allegro ACS758 current sensor with protection relay that stops the current when it reaches the maximum. Please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. And also, if you have comment or question, please type it in the comment section below. I'll try to reply and answer your questions if you have.